Today I'll show you how to make something follow you in Rec Room. We'll start with a basic circuit that will make it work, then we'll slowly add on to it until you have a full monster that looks at you, follows you, collides with walls, and unalives players. Will I make it an invention? I guess you'll have to watch to find out. So let's start off simple by making a cube. We're going to configure it, make it physical, and then you want to add the tag of enemy. Next, we need to make the new role that this cube is going to follow. So we're going to get a roll chip and then we're going to configure it and change the name to food. So this next part is optional, but it's really helpful when kind of testing this device out. So you're going to go into circuits and you're going to get a CV2 trigger volume. You're going to get two of them. So on the first one, you're going to use a add roll chip and we're going to attach the player entered and the player and then we're going to configure this to say food so we will add the food roll to whoever walks in the trigger zone and we're going to do the opposite on this trigger zone so we're going to get a remove roll chip put in the player entered put in the player and then configure it to say food so now you can see I don't have the food roll. I walk through this trigger zone. I get the food roll. I walk through the second trigger zone and it removes the food roll. Now we're going to get two chips. We're going to open our watch and go to search here and then type in with. You're going to need the get all players with roll chip and you're going to need the rec room object to get all with tag chip. We're going to configure the tag chip to say the tag of enemy. We're gonna configure the players with roll chip to say food. Next up, go back to search and you're gonna need a list get element. So you're gonna need one for the top row and one for the bottom row. And then we're gonna need two get position chips. We need one for the top row and one for the bottom row. Go ahead and hook up objects with tag to list, value to target, and do the same thing on the bottom row. Now let's head back to search and you're gonna get a subtract chip. Now to hook this up, you wanna make sure that your line that says object, you wanna make sure that line is hooked up to the bottom and then the line that has players with roll, you wanna hook that up to the top row. Next up, we are gonna get a velocity set chip. Now we need to just start filling out this chip. So the object, the target, the cube, is gonna be the thing with the tag of enemy. So we wanna put that right here. The speed, I'm gonna switch this to 0.5 because it tends to go a little fast. Now the direction, we're gonna hook up to the subtract chip. Now we're gonna get an event receiver, configure it to be the 30 hertz, and we're gonna hook it up you can hear that it's making the error noise, that little doo doot noise. It's because nobody at the moment has the role of food. So if I go and walk through this trigger zone we made earlier, the monster cube should start following us. There we go. And we've completed one part of the project. If you want this as an invention, go into the invention store and type in RCL underscore follow underscore V3. This is kind of the last part that I can make an invention because everything else is up to you. So now that we've got something following you, we need to add in our monster that's going to look at you. We need to add in wall collision and we need to add in the ability to kill players. Now to start off, I'm going to go ahead and just unhook the 30 hertz receiver. So first, what you want to do to get your monster is configure your cube and make it a decoration. And then we're gonna move it up to about eye level. So once you have your cube kind of eye level, you wanna get a look at gizmo and you wanna spawn it somewhere close to it. It doesn't have to be exact. Then you're gonna go ahead and configure it, have it follow players, have it go to the closest, and then edit the roll to the food roll. And we're gonna go ahead and configure this zero here to a one. And then we wanna wire the black part of the look at gizmo to the cube. So now that this is working, you need to decide, do you want your monster to be animated or do you just want it to kind of chase after the person? If you want it to be animated, then you're gonna get an animation gizmo. It really doesn't matter where you put it. And then you wanna wire the animation gizmo, the black part, 
to the pin on the look at gizmo and then you can attach your monster and you can animate it and everything like that but for what we're doing we're going to just get a monster so we're going to use this demon by snake senpai once you have your monster you want to grab it by the face and you want to move it onto the look at gizmo so that it's looking at you currently then you want to select either the cube or the look at gizmo because once you do that it's going to freeze the look at gizmo so that you can actually work with it you're going to wire the front of the look at gizmo to the monster and then when you let go of your maker pen it should be looking at you. So once you have your monster following you, what you wanna do is reconfigure your cube to be physical. If we hook this back up, then we can see it's actually gonna start following me as your monster is intended. So now we're gonna add in wall collision. You wanna, you wanna make your cube decorational again and bring it up to eye level. You might have to rotate it and, and adjust it so that your monster's looking at you again. That's fine, just rotate the cube. Make sure you're, you're not rotating the monster. Now what we need for wall collision is very simple. We need an invisible collision. And all we're gonna do is throw it right here in front of the monster's face. You might need to adjust it a little bit. Once you have it set up in front of your monster, you wanna go ahead and wire it to the front of the look at gizmo. And now, if we hook all of this back up, it's gonna start following us. And if I move quick enough, it will collide with walls. There we go. This last part where we add the ability to kill players, we're gonna require some beta content. So once we're in beta, you're gonna do the exact same thing as last time. Configure the cube, move it up to eye level, rotate it so it's kind of facing the right direction. And then we're gonna get another CV2 trigger zone. And just like this invisible collision, we're gonna put it right here on the front. That should be good for what we're needing. And then you wanna make sure that you go in here and detach the chip. So once you have it detached, you wanna move the chip. And again, just like last time, you want to wire the trigger zone to the front of the look at gizmo. The beta chip that we need is the respawn chip. So let's start filling this out. When the player enters the trigger zone, we want that player to be transported to another position. I'm gonna say over here. So what I'm gonna do is make another little cube. We're gonna configure it. We're gonna give it the tag respawn point, or I'm just gonna do RP. Because we are in beta, we can use a rec room object, get first with tag. And we need a get position chip. All right, so we're gonna configure this to look for the tag of RP. We wanna wire this object to the target and get the position. And then we want to wire the position to both position and to rotation. Last thing that we need here is to get a player remove roll chip. This top one here to remove the roll. And then let's take the player and put it on here. No, no, ah, but wait, wait, I know what you're thinking. RTL, I want it to follow the closest player, not the first player that has the roll. Well, don't you worry your needy little face. I've got that figured out too. Now, the video may not be out yet. If it is, it's over here. If it's not, then YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Are they right? Bye. Nine percent. I don't know, I'm done. I'm done. It's done, we just gotta edit it. Ow, okay, all right. Get me out of here, I'm done. I'm so ready to be done.